Yiming, thanks for inviting me to your Chinese New Year's dinner. I brought you some Mao Tai. Somebody told me it's a traditional Chinese New Year's drink. It's a national drink of China. Oh, really? It's a very legendary drink. Oh, excellent. Yeah, I hope you like it. I can't wait to get into it. So I heard it's so difficult to get a traditional Chinese New Year's dinner in New York, even though there's like a billion Chinese restaurants. Why is that? Well, I think uh, those uh, Chinese places, they didn't expect Americans to appreciate this part of Chinese tradition. Uh. That's why they don't offer that. Chinese New Year is all about family reunion. Um, and since we are away from family, we'll, we celebrate that differently. Oh, all right. Well, I'm ready to break the mold. I want to try some traditional Chinese food. All right, come. Let's do it. Why is it called Mao Tai? It's uh, named after this small town called Mao Tai. It's very close to the source of the Yangtze River, where the land is uh, among the highest on the planet. Um, you know, you heard about uh, this uh, very famous premier, Chinese premier, Zhou Enlai. I've heard of him, yeah. Yeah, he's a big fan of Mao Tai. Okay. And he was making a big effort trying to make this big because Mao Tai is such a small town. Uh, so they transferred all, they relocate all these uh, people, machinery, uh, mm -hmm. factory, and even they packed up a uh, suitcase of dirt. Really? Yeah, from the factory because they believe in the terrain should be part of it. You know, everything gave certain things some unique characteristic. Uh, so that is to take the soil and everything. They, they think that the, the dirt kind of captured all those elements, all those important elements. Right. So they think that should be part of it. And for example, like champagne. Why champagne can only be from champagne <coughs> right. in France? So that's because of the, the terrain. The water, the soil, everything is very pure. The air is very pure over there. All right. And it's very difficult to replicate that kind of water quality. Right. Similar for Mao Tai. Um, it is not from that region, uh, from the town of Mao Tai. It will be something different. Does, yeah, Even it's like though the, you use the same elements, um, it's the not the same. It doesn't taste the same. Oh, that's too bad. Because you really can't mix something that's so indigenous in one spot in another spot, right? They've tried it though, yeah. Yes. It's good. It's very dry. It's probably like the driest thing I've ever tasted. It's dry and it goes like uh, smooth to your tongue. Right. And can you feel the heat? It's like after you drink it, then it builds up. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's really good. I have to eat something with this. What do, we, what, is, what do we have here? Oh, this is a dried beef. Okay. It's All right. Chinese appetizer. It's delicious. Oh, it's a little bit of spicy too. It's quite spicy. Normally people only drink this wine for special occasions because this is uh, something pricey and right. something valuable. Right. This is pretty good. I, I mean, I like it. So the New Year dinner is not just all about food, it's also an uh, expression um, to show good wishes to the New Year. Right, you select sort of certain dishes that represent things, is that how it works? Yeah, you know, like uh, Chinese, they are huge with word plays, double right. meanings or numerologies. Uh, it's kind of fun to play around with the names and uh, suggest something. Alright, so what does this suggest? Rice cake in Chinese. It's, uh, the pronunciation is the same as uh, advancement or improvement. Right. So this suggests the career advancement. That's awesome. And what about this one? There's a lot going on in this dish. Right. Um, I'll probably just name it the pot of plenty. Right. Um, I think the shrimp is from the ocean, um, fish is from the river, okay. beef from the land, and mushroom from the mountain. Oh, that's so cool. So it has a little bit of everything. The color in here was red. Why is red important? I think the color red is to keep the bad energies away out of the door. There seems to be a, like a lot of uh, superstition that surrounds Chinese culture. The year itself in old days, it was regarded as a monster, something really really bad. We Chinese people, we love to follow tradition. Right. Uh, so, you know, I'm just, we are just wearing some red right. uh, to suggest the tradition. 
when monsters involved, you can't really take a chance. Uh, and what is this one over here? So this uh, dish is about uh, hundreds of fortunes and uh, treasures. The, the cabbage, the Napa cabbage, uh, the pronunciation is uh, similar to Bai Cai, uh, hundreds of fortunes. All right, the cabbage looks, honestly, it looks like a house plant that was in a nuclear disaster. But how does it taste? It tastes, um, it tastes like the ocean. <clears throat> it's very good. Thank you for the Chinese New Year's dinner. It was excellent. Gambe, right? Happy New Year. Happy New Year. For the shrimp and rice cake dish, you will need these ingredients. Scallops, cabbage, salt, chicken powder, and cornstarch. For the dried scallop and cabbage, put 10 scallops in a bowl. Pour in water. Steam for one hour. Then, boil the Chinese cabbage. Pour in the steamed scallops. Add salt, chicken powder, oil, and cornstarch. And cook until everything is soft. For the dried scallop and cabbage recipe, you'll need the following ingredients. Oyster sauce, salt, shrimp, rice cake, and Chinese chives. For the shrimp and rice cake, boil the rice cake, yang go, with shrimp for one minute. Fry the Chinese chives, then pour in rice cake and shrimp. Add salt, chicken powder, and oyster sauce. 